So here we are, kind of coming in here. And I'm just gonna show you what we worked on today. Um, so, oh, we got the so electric panel in the entryway. Here we go. You can see what I, I threw in today. It's a couple three quarter inch conduits. Basically, I just give us some spares uh, down to a crawl space below because when that gets sheet rocked in, getting in and out of that panel is gonna be hard. I mean, we could have fished up through from the crawl space, but a couple conduits. It was 20 minutes worth of work, $10 worth of conduit, well, $20 worth of conduit today. Um, and uh, it is done. And instead of spending an hour, two hours later, fishing circuits up into the bottom of the panel. So what you can see here is, well, you can see an electrician was here. Look at the mess. Oh, we're terrible. Look at that. Six pieces of sheathing. We're awful. Anyways, so this is what we're working on today. Um, we got down in here. So what we did here is we have a box here for a dishwasher. So the dishwasher will be off to the right side of that sink. We'll have a cord that'll come into the, under the sink cavity. In here, we'll plug it in. Uh, we'll have an arc fault GFI 15 amp combination breaker in the panel. And then what we have here is this. As you can see, we got the low voltage wires here. That is a switched outlet that will turn on that the uh, transformer will plug into for our low voltage under cabinet lights when we're done. You can kind of see we did the same thing up here. So this is above, so this is the microwave um, uh, unit that vent unit that hangs above your range below the cabinet. So what we did is up in that cabinet we'll have transformers couple transformers because they're on different switches you know, low voltage cable right there with them an outlet for the microwave again there'll be a uh, that'll be a plug-in in in an accessible cabinet you, you, so you can unplug it and disconnect your microwave quickly it's the same way reason we did the dishwasher that way so guys that's what we're doing in this kitchen so here I got a question for you um, does the fridge circuit in a residential uh, unit residential um, living space dwelling unit need to be its own circuit and if it does how big does that circuit need to be um dining room circuit another question dining room circuit if it is the dining room area which is out here does that need to be on its own circuit and how big of a circuit would that have to be 15 or 20 amps um so how many uh, how many circuits in your dwelling unit are required to be 20 amp circuits. How many can be 15 amp circuits? With the price of Romex these days, these are the things you're gonna to wanna to know to save your customers some money, uh, save you some hassle, and uh, be able to get these things done in some sort of affordable way for, for our customers. I know the answer to these questions. Please comment and let me know if you do.